Hi everyone! Now, we are going to be making some fruit and vegetable faces today. So let's see what we've got to use. We've got in our bowl here, we've got our lemons. We've got some a a a apples and t -t 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 tomatoes and t -t 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 tree tomatoes. Yes. got an array of herbs. Array means a variety or a range or just a whole lot of different types. So we've got an array, a lot of different types. Lucy, what have you got? Yes, pretty little rocket flowers. Look at those. Remember them? Rocket flowers. Yes. And you've got some Parsley. This is flat leaf parsley. Okay, you get a curly one as well. This is flat leaf. This one looks a bit similar. Thank you, Tefnut. It's called coriander. It definitely has a different smell and a different taste, but they look a little bit similar at a glance. Okay. Now, what else have you got, Tefnut? Some mint yes we know that one hey mint mm, smells nice and our little basil as well sweet basil that's some of the flowers from the sweet basil and the top leaves so let's get going we have got also a little bowl of biscuit cutters those might come in handy so we'll see if we can use those. You will need a sharp knife. Be very careful with it. You might need mum or dad to help you, or big brother or sister, to help you if you need to use a sharp knife. I've got my little favorite knife, my serrated knife. So we are going to get going now. You may have different fruit and vegetables in your fruit bowl and in your fridge, that's okay, you can improvise and be creative. Now, we've selected a few things that we're going to chop up and then we're gonna see how we're going to create our different things. So, sharp knife, this little, um, whoopsie, where did we put it? Here we go, look. It's an icing nozzle, but this part looks like it might be a little bit sharp. So we thought, you know what, we would like to use some of the cucumber skin. See if we can cut some out. So let's see if we can do that very carefully. Let's see what we do. We're going to take our cucumber, use our nozzle very carefully and push it in. Oh, it seems to have worked. And look at that. It's made a circle on there. Let's see if we can carefully cut that off. Cut that off there. Let's have a look and see if it comes up. Oh my goodness, look at that. So we've got a nice little green circle. We could use that for what? What did we think? We could use it perhaps for eyes yes wouldn't that be exciting we could also use chili slices for eyes couldn't we yes what could we use for a nice red mouth yes tree tomato but you know what we could also use we were having a think about that too we thought we might be a little bit cheeky and use a bit of food coloring and we looked at our biscuit cutters, there's this lovely shape. It's called a crescent shape, isn't it? Hey Lucy, it's a crescent, yes. And that's like a moon shape. See, it's like a, goes around like that, it's a crescent. And we might cut some of that out of our apple, just 
like we've done with this, with the cucumber, and then paint in a red mouth with food colouring. How does that sound? Okay, shall we try to cut that mouth out? So we've tried that, we're just trying different things at the moment. Let's see. We've got our biscuit cutter, crescent shape, find a nice facey part of your apple. Yeah, I think here we go, that looks good. Press it in. Oop. Oop. So we've got the right shape. Oh, there we go. And there, look. Oop. So it's made that shape. Now we just have to very carefully, this is where you might need mum or dad, cut that bit of the skin out of your apple. Okay. Very, very carefully. Cut it out. There we go, look. So now we're going to get that food colouring. Hey, yes, should we get that? And let us see if we can paint that in. Okay, so we've washed our paintbrush nicely and a little bit of food colouring. It's easier if you put it into an egg cup or something that's bigger than the bottle, a bit more stable, just a little bit. Don't knock it over. Right, so let's have a try. Look. Oh, ooh, that looks quite cool, hey? Nice red mouth. Oh, where? We've got our nice little green cucumber eyes. Let's cut two little holes in our apple. Be careful so that you don't burst the skin, the your apple. Gently twist it round, twist it as you do it, because otherwise you might end up breaking your apple. Not nice. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Whoops. Oh, and in go those eyes. We might need to trim them a little bit. There we go. In they pop. How is that? How cool is that? And carrot bits of hair, perhaps. Use a nice strong knife when you're cutting carrots and remove all the extra bits you don't need. Take them out of the way. There we go. Let's cut some carrot. Mm. Yes, we decided we'd have some orange hair. So, a little, we're going to use a toothpick for this so it's nice and easy. The toothpicks are nice and easy to use. Okay, because they're little. Just make a sort of dent and go around it a bit like that so that you can sort of make a little hole. And then poke your carrot in. Push it nicely in. <gasps> He's going to have a funky hairstyle. <laughs> going to match your headdress, Lulu. How's that? Look at our funny face. Fruit funny face. <laughs> See how creative you can be and what you might make. We're going to make some more. See if you can guess how we made them. Fruit, vegetable and herb funny faces. Look at our eyes, our mouths and our hair. How did we make them?